Hey everyone, in my recent job search, I have been interviewed at many companies. In this video, we will be solving a question that was asked in different interviews. So in few of the interviews, the interviewer asked me to create a method for deep cloning an object in JavaScript. So yeah, I have created a blog on this particular interview question and I'll be sharing the link to this blog in the description. Go check out. Let's get started. Before solving this particular question, let's understand what deep cloning exactly means. Let's understand deep cloning with this particular object. Deep cloning means creating a new object which should be exactly like this object. Okay, so here you might say why not just create a new variable and assign that particular variable with this particular object. So no, it's not how it actually works. So let me show why. Let me assign a dot b dot c is equals to 4 and let me console this original array. So what happens is this particular original array content will also be changed with this particular assignment. Let me execute it and show. Here if you see the c value is 4. Why? Because objects are stored by reference okay so while assigning the reference to this particular original object will be stored in this a due to which even if we change something within this particular a as both of the references are same original object will also be changed so let's create deep clone for this particular object okay let me create deep clone method here okay i'll be calling this particular deep clone method with our deep clone object and i'll kind of store the result in my result variable okay this particular function deep clone function will accept an object as a parameter and it should return a new object which is a deep clone for this particular object okay that particular deep clone will be should be stored in this result and this result should look exactly similar to this particular object let's say right so now to deep clone this particular object right this particular object we need to iterate over each and every key in this original object and we'll have to store each and key value in our new object and at the end we'll have to return the new object in our deep clone right so let me create a new object new object and we'll be iterating over each and every key value of our object and we'll kind of store each and every key value in our new object and we'll kind of return our new manipulated object which will look exactly similar to this right which will be kind of deep clone so now here we'll have to iterate over each and every key in this particular original object right i'll be creating a for loop and let i in our object and each and every key value I'll be assigning in our new object. So here, this new object key is equals to old object key. So here, I'll be assigning each and every key value. So now what happens is, here A will be stored in our new object. When it comes to B, B will be b key will have this particular object as value right but if you see this is an object and this object is also stored as reference right so uh, this is not a deep clone right when it comes to this b as we need to do a deep clone we need to do deep clone for this particular value of b as well so what we have to do we'll have to check if the value of our key right if the value of our key a type of the value of our key is an object in that case we have to handle it differently if it is a primitive data type then we can directly assign here right so now if 
the value is an object in that case we'll kind of have to deep clone that object as well so we'll be kind of call our deep clone method recursively here deep clone for this object as well so i'll be kind of giving object of i here what we are doing is we are kind of calling our deep clone method recursively with this object right with this object and we'll have to store that object in our b key so new object of i is equals to our b key now let me console it result let me execute it so here if you see it is looking same but when it comes to e it is creating an array and within array there is an object which is not as expected we need to give the value of e as an array of elements so if you see what happening here means type of e value is an object yeah it's an object and we are kind of assigning e with deep clone of our new array right this deep clone is calling with our array so here it will come to this place deep clone and this object is an array and we'll we are kind of creating a new object and we are iterating over this particular object which is an array and we are kind of assigning the elements of our array to this new object which is not as expected we have to kind of give these elements of an array to an array again right so to achieve that what we'll be doing is we have to check whether our parameter which is an object is an array or an object is array in that case we'll have to create a new array if it is an if it is an object right if it is an object in that case we have to create an empty object so here while calling the deep clone with this array we are kind of checking whether it's an array or not if it's an array then we are kind of creating an empty array and we are kind of assigning all the elements of this array to this new array and we are kind of returning them so let me execute it and show here if you observe it is working as expected let me show the elements of an array as well let me pay, copy these content and let me execute it here to show these deep clone properly so here this result we are kind of uh, consoling so let me show the result yeah if you see whatever our object is we are kind of deep cloning and showing the same object here so it is working as expected if you see there are few other scenarios as well let's say if if here f contains null in that case we have to handle it a different way here if the value is null in that case we'll kind of return that object and if our object is a data object then also we have to handle it a little different way i have covered all of these scenarios in our blog and i'll be sharing the link to the blog in the description go check out and if you like the content please do subscribe to my channel